folks, today I'm going to walk you through how to utilize the stimulus feature in Canvas. So first I'm going to go to one of my test quizzes, and this is a new quiz. I'm going to title it, attribute points, make it formative or summative, and then sync to Skyward and add a due date. Once I go through all those features, then I can press build. A stimulus question allows you to attach an image, a video, a resource, to a series of questions or just one question. This is really nice because it allows you to insert a graph or a picture and then attach questions on the right-hand side, very similar to an ACT or an SAT. So let's start the process. First, I'm gonna press that blue button and then I'm gonna select stimulus. From here, I'm gonna be prompted to add a title, add additional instructions if necessary, and here's where I can post a chart a picture, a video, a link, again, any resource that is gonna help me to design a question or questions for my students. From there, I'm gonna have the choice to either add my questions to the right or add my questions below. I prefer to add to the right. I feel like that looks very similar to an SAT or another standardized test that they're familiar with. And it allows for easy viewing of the resource as students are answering those questions. So now I'm gonna press Add Stimulus. And once I do that, then I'm gonna to have to go to the right and attach questions. Now, I can attach all of the standard questions that I can attach in a new quiz. I can attach multiple questions to the same stimulus. So I'm gonna start with matching here. And I'm going to just put something in for the sake of our example right here. You can add distractors with matching. I can also choose to shuffle a question. If you require a calculator, you can add that option as well. And then you can attach this question to your item bank. So I'm gonna press done right here. And once I'm done adding that question, now I can see that I've got my matching over here. I've got my stimulus over here on the left. If I want to add additional questions, I can do that as well. Keep playing around with this great feature and creating great assessments for your students.